again with the Stevie Jackson, man. He the godfather of clock chasing. You know, before the internet, before these apps, and before YouTube, before social media, Stevie Jackson is the originator of clout chasing. That's why he's so good at it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me break y'all, let me break it down. And I, and I fuck with Steven Jackson, man. I, I kind of fucked with him, and I still kind of fuck with him, but he's a clout chasing ass motherfucker, and he don't have no shame in that shit. When he was in the NBA, he was a blood. He, he used to be trying to rap and all that shit, and get clout off being the NBA player that was a real gangster. Then, in the Ron Artest fight, he ran up in the stands with Ron Artest to get clout because he didn't want Ron Artest to be the only one on Sports Center punching people. Ron Artest looked at it like Ron Artest was like, "Damn, boy, you all right, boy? I see you up here with me." So now he was at the Javante Davis fight, pushing people away from his wife, caused the whole scene. He on camera saying, "Y'all don't push my wife. Y'all say sorry to my wife." And y'all know when fights break out, people be trampling and running to go see the fight. I, I admit a few times I didn't have to push a few niggas back and tell niggas, hey, don't trap all over me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you try to see the fight. But it's just crazy how Steven Jackson be a part of everything. I don't understand. When Kwame Brown broke out, you was at the brunt of the Kwame Brown shit. You was on that shit. George Floyd was your brother. Now, I admit, when I found out, when I seen you saying that's my brother, he looked just like me. I didn't know what George Floyd looked like, and I said, God damn, this nigga Steven Jackson find a way to be a part of everything. And I, to my mistake, he it really was his fake brother. He really knew dude. But I said, man, this nigga Steven Jackson a part of everything. Then the whole checking in the old black thing. You made sure you made your rounds with that. You got to be a part of that. Now you're at the Tech Davis fight, acting like breaking down the fight, acting like you a fight technician, like you like you a trainer or something. You know what I'm saying? Steven Jackson is just a part of. I, I mean. Steven Jackson is a part of everything. He answered Kanye West. And I, I gotta give it to him. Some of them be natural and some of them be with him with him forcing it. But one thing about one thing about it for sure is Steven Jackson gonna be there. When Tory Lane's father was out there yelling, Steven Jackson had his arm around Tory Lane's daddy, like, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, they, they, like they did him wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean he You know, yeah. He, he just a part of it. He's a part of everything. Got into it with Charleston White. Him and Charleston White. You know, I got to give it to him. He's a hell of a good club chaser. He always finds himself in the right spots. But, you know, here we go. Steven Jackson. Fight it. Gets into it at the Javante Davis fight. Man, this boy Steven Jackson be everywhere at the same time. Be a part of everything. If I have an accident right now, Steven Jackson going to be there. If a camera crew come down and everything, Steven Jackson, yeah, but you know, he, he, in, in, in his in his in his defense, he was protecting his wife. You know, it's just that I mean, it's he seen the, the cameras rolling with Meek Mill. He seen that the spotlight was getting put on Meek and Wallow, and then I guess some kind of way he found a way to get in there to be a part of it. Steven Jackson just know he's King Clout, man. I don't, it was just some other rapper they called King Clout. I think it's. Uh, King Yella or somebody, I don't know who the, but nah, bro. Steven Jackson, I gotta give it to you, bro. You are the king of getting clapped.